In this video, we're doing a very quick video on refreshing all the pivot tables in a workbook. It's actually relatively simple. There's two ways to do it. There's the old school way to do it, and then there's the new new school way to do it. I will walk you through both ways to do that. If you open up your Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11 will get you there. We're going to call this Sub Refresh Pivots, and hopefully I can spell. A lot of times I can't. The new school way to do this is this workbook dot refresh all. Okay, that's it. It's a single line of code. You can actually do this. You can do this in three lines of code. Now, the old school way to do it. The only reason I'm really showing you this um, one: if you have Excel that old, you should get rid of it. You should upgrade to the newest version. Um, it is well worth it. Um, but the old school way is for each WS in active uh, in sheets actually this workbook sorry this workbook dot sheets um, and really what that's going to do is it's going to go through each workbook and then you're going to go for each um, P PVT in us dot pivot tables next and we're gonna go pvt dot refresh table and we're good there and lastly we're gonna do pvt dot update okay so that's the new that's the old school way to do it which is the refresh all uh, that's a new, uh, sorry, excuse me, that's the new way to do it. The old school is you would basically just loop through every workbook. And then while you're on the workbook, you would loop through every pivot table and make sure it's updated. Uh, the thing that I like to do since I'm doing this as a button um, is I like to put a message box. Um, it's just kind of a nice, nice way to say, you know, pivots updated. Um, it's a nice way to let your user know, hey, we've actually done something we've updated our pivot table um, now they're updated so let's just make sure that this works we've got this I've got a table here um, I've got some raw data here I've got some new data here which is just sales info um, we're gonna come in here and paste that to my raw data um, another quick tip here real quick if you are gonna be doing pivot tables throw them in a table um, it's just it's so much easier so much better um, because what happens on these pivots, I'm gonna get off topic here for a little bit. But if you come in here and you go to do your do your design and you check your source data, when your source data is your table, it makes it so much easier to add extra data. So I highly, highly, highly recommend doing that. So we've got this updated. You'll notice that we've got you know some female sales and some we've got 304,000 here, 304,000 there. We've got 304,000 there. We're gonna assign a macro because I like to do it that way we're going to assign the refresh pivots we're going to click OK you'll notice that one mm -hmm. those they did update you saw the change you have the message box to say that it's done and we've gone to 409,000 um, we also have some extra information down there 408,000 for 498,000 excuse me um, but we have those extra days down here in uh, the next month so that's a quick, quick hack on how to update all your pivot tables. Um, and actually what's funny about this code is it ran this twice. So, so I actually refreshed all, then I refreshed them all again. Um, but in any case, I highly recommend using this first one. Uh, but this is actually a good exercise just to understand kind of how to go through your sheets and how to use them. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribing to the Everyday VBA channel. If you like this video, make sure you give me a like. And I hope you enjoyed.